Good morning everyone, my name is Raza Eugenia and as you can see on the slide we're going to talk about the importance of family counselling in genetics. During the genetic counselling we focus not only on our patient but on his whole family. Due to the fact that we work with hereditary conditions, predisposition can also be found in other family members, that's why we need to examine them and warn about the possible development of the disease. The role of a geneticist here is to look out for the red flags, which I will tell you about later, explain all of the risks and give recommendations for further diagnostics and possible treatment. Today's medicine uses a complex of contemporary methods, development of genetics, information technology, machine learning have all contributed to formation of a free pay medicine, which is now preventive, personalized and precise. The term was invented by the Swedish professors John Demansky and Professor Arkadius Piotrowski, who have already launched a project called International Research Agenda Free P. It's a new scientific unit specializing in research and acquired genetic abnormalities as risk factors for cancer and other illnesses. <clears throat> Going back to the genetic counseling, I've already mentioned the importance of red flags that help us to suspect a possible genetic condition. As you can see on the slide, these are uh, features of a family history that may cause a predisposition in other family members, micro of development, which all of us may have but only less than three, a typicality when we're talking about different neuroplastic processes, early manifestation, comorbidity, which is the simultaneous presence of two or more diseases or medical condition in the patient, and an unclear reason. And now I would like to present you a medical case. Uh, our patient is a 15-year-old boy. At the age of 9, his cholesterol was found to rise up for the first time, but other values were normal. The abdominal ultrasound showed a slight enlargement of the spleen, and this child was admitted to the Institute of Pediatrics in our university. <clears throat> uh, during the genetic counseling, we made a family tree and reviewed this patient's family family history. Uh, so it turned out that his father was 44 year old, uh, who had high blood cholesterol, myocardial infarction at the age of 40, and underwent stenting. Genetic testing to exclude this pathological condition is recommended for the whole family. But what exactly is a familial hypercholesterolemia? This is a genetic condition that causes high cholesterol and it can be caused by inherited changes, which you can see on the slide. Left untreated, this condition leads to hardening of the arteries, cardiovascular disease and events like heart attacks, strokes, even long before people reach old age. <clears throat> Uh, genetic testing identified a pathogenic variant in the LDLR gene, which helped us to confirm the diagnosis. And uh, the cholesterol absorption inhibitor, atezomibe, was prescribed to this patient. And the genetic testing for the whole family is recommended. <clears throat> With the help of the genetic testing, mutation was also detected in father and younger brother. Um, so the future plan for father is to visit a cardiologist, uh, sound will be monitored regularly, and if necessary, he will be treated with a tazomibe. And uh, cholesterol testing and genetic testing will now be carried out for the patients, fathers, brothers, and if necessary, their families. In conclusion, I would like to emphasize the importance of family counseling, which is the only effective approach to early detection and prevention of serious hereditary diseases. The sooner we diagnose the disease, the sooner we can take steps to cure it. That's all. Thank you so much for your attention.